Hi everyone, this is Heidi with The Busy Nothings. This is actually my second take. I had started to do one and um, I had my tank top on and it looked like I was naked. So I felt really uncomfortable looking at myself thinking maybe someone thinks I'm naked. And that would just be, that was just weird. So I put a plaid shirt on. And I'm not going to lie that, um, oh, what's that? Oh, yes. Yeah, these are new glasses. Thank you for um, noticing. Yeah, these bold face statement that I'm making here with these spectacles. And yeah, the plaid shirt is definitely a, like a, a part of, you know, I, I think that I went for the plaid shirt because of the glasses. I might have gone for the plaid shirt anyways, but there was like oh, these cool funky glasses I should wear a plaid shirt. And I think that right now some hipsters are like... Ugh. Uh, people like her are giving up stirs a bad name. And I think that the real truth here is that um, we all are kind of like this. And we all like that. Not we all, but the, those of us that dress a certain way. It's just an image. It's just kind of a joke. So people that take themselves seriously really crack me up. And I like sometimes to look like I'm from the 60s, sometimes the 70s. Definitely not the 80s, sometimes the 90s. And sometimes whatever modern fashion, you know, like skinny jeans. Remember, I used to hate them, and now I kind of wear them. Where I have some colored skinny jeans, like purple and pink. And this is like a really, really rambly intro. So, hey, everybody, I'm going to kind of start over, switching gears. Um, I, lately, I've been thinking a lot about comparison. And probably because that's something I've always struggled with. Like, I'm like, oh, they must be happier, or they're cooler, or they're whatever. Yeah, I just always do that. And since I was in Seattle over the weekend... I thought about it a lot because I was like, I want to live here. And then I was kind of comparing myself to like these cool hipster people who live there, you know. And then <laughs> then I saw that you had the, like a small tiny flat downtown with like 2800 a month. And I was like, I have to get a job. And, you know, like it's just I'm never going to be that. Um, and I like Northwest Arkansas quite a bit. But uh, as you guys know, as I've shared, I thought we were moving. And we didn't. And that was really hard to kind of readjust and realign. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say another re a refocus. So a um, lot, lot of words there. But it basically means like when your dreams are crushed or they change, um, how quickly you bounce back and how you move on, how you pick yourself up and um, not sit there feeling sorry for yourself, comparing yourself to other people who seem like uh, maybe God seems to love them more. Or God gives them more of a direction. Um, and I think that that's kind of, where I keep coming back to, I keep circling back uh, time after time to comparison and how it really is the enemy of happiness and how, um, you know, Ray says you can choose happiness and you can, and honestly, circumstances do play a lot into it. So you, it's kind of, um, please don't ever tell someone that if they're going through a hard time, happiness is a choice. Because say that to your kids, you know, maybe not uh, at the bad timing, but I, I just, I guess it just, um, I guess I was just meditating on this verse over the weekend. It was just delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And I don't know if I've truly ever really understood what that means, delight yourself in the Lord. It seems extremely ambiguous, you know. How how do you really do that? I'm so black and white and I want to see a, a PowerPoint, a, you know, a, a nice little outline of what that means. What do I do? And sometimes it's just sitting back and being still and breathing and looking around and being thankful and appreciative for everything that I have. And that's where I am. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be hanging out in this weird space, this ambiguousness that doesn't really, um, it's not really clear to me. And so it's uncomfortable for me to really stay here very long. But um, in this, I want to share this with you because I really think um, even people who kind of act like they don't compare, like we we all do, and um, and just to kind of sit back away from that to realize what you have, what you're thankful for, everything good that's going on in your life, and not in a cheesy "I'm trying to convince myself" kind of way, because I've done that too, and that's not really a genuine place to be either. But sometimes just telling yourself what you're thankful for over and over until it just gets deep inside of you and you are there in that thankful place. And I'm, I'm like, I'm all over the place right now. I know I'm kind of rambling. Um, but I just kind of wanted to share that update. This is way longer than I meant it to be now at this point. It's like, like five minutes. Who's going to be watching this at (laughs) five minutes? So sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of my heart where I am and, um, really share with me, 
what you found, how you found to be thankful for the place you are, where it's when it's not where you wanted to be, where you saw yourself, um, how you don't compare, how you take your thoughts captive, and how you delight in God. I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, just success stories, what you've done, um, just how God's spoken to you in this time whenever you seek Him out to delight in Him. What does that mean? So, love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.